Choosing the right software for your online personal training business can be a huge decision and, if you don't get it right, can make your business run horribly. But if you do get it right, then it means you can automate and systemize more areas of your business, making generating leads easier, making sales easier, and working with clients all over the world much easier. In this video, I'm gonna talk you through the exact different software that we use and the ones that you can choose for your online fitness business that will make growing and operating your business easier, get clients better results, and give you an easier life too. Before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos all about building a successful online fitness business, and make sure you click that bell too. Okay, so the way this video is going to work is I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step the different softwares that you will need throughout the entire client journey, if you like, from the minute they find you on the internet to when you're working with them as a client. In fact, let me show you what I mean. So we need to be able to take someone from social media, let's say this is IG, to a page where they give us their details, name, email, and they, they click a button, and then they get their free thing, and they then go into our email software, and we can send them some email. From that email, obviously, we're trying to sell them our stuff. We want them to get, we want them to fill in an application form, right? So we need some application form software. Oh my God. Application form software, you know, and then we ask them a few questions on that application form and then on that application form they complete it they click submit and it takes them to book a call i don't know how i'm going to draw uh, a book a call button right i'm just going to go for it right oh my god what is that that's a phone they book the call then we need to take payment and then we need to work with them so that's just an app in your iphone i'm just going to write the word app what app do we use to work with those clients maybe it's a uh, google drive maybe it's a spreadsheet with all the rows and I'm gonna walk you through in this video how to do all those things. So the first thing that we need is somewhere to send our audience to so that they can become leads. So we could have an audience on Instagram, on YouTube, for example, on Facebook. And what we need to be able to do is have a page where we can send people to so that they can give us their information in exchange for something of value. Let me show you an example. This is um, a page that we have set up where people can get access to a 20 minute training where we walk people through exactly how to uh, grow and operate a highly profitable online fitness business. I'll put the link to this uh, in, the, in the description below this video. So as you can see, there's a, a, a box for people to put their name in, their email address in, and then they click submit. Uh, and when they click submit, it takes them to a page where they get access to their free video. So what you need in place in order to be able to do the same is one of these softwares. We're actually using Thrive Themes um, on our site. That's what we're using and that's what these pages are built on. Um, we really like it. It's very simple, very to easy, very easy to use uh, and quite cheap as well too, to be honest, for everything that you get as a membership it is. Other options that I recommend are lead pages, and click funnels. Click funnels uh, can be more expensive, uh, but has a lot more bells and whistles. Um, has sometimes had reliability issues. Lead pages is another very simple one, similar to Thrive Themes. But that's the first piece of software we need. Now, what happens to that lead when once they've given us their email address? Well, we need to be able to store that email and that lead. Uh, in our email software. I recommend two pieces of email software. It's MailChimp, it has a free version, everything that you could want to do from an email perspective, so send broadcasts to your entire uh, email list, set up automation so that when you sign a new client up, they could go through a new client onboarding sequence of emails, it's all automated, or when this lead gives you their email address, you can automate a series of emails to warm them up and you know sell to them. And the one that we use and we really like is called Active Campaign. Now for us, Active Campaign just it just does everything and it's very easy to use, which is important for me because I'm terrible with technology. So Active Campaign is the other one. If in case you're wondering why I'm looking down at my page, it's because I have everything written down. Let's say we've sent somebody to a page that we've got up on ClickFunnels, right? They've given us their details, opted in, we've sent them a free thing using our email automation, and then from that email automation, we wanna send them to an application form, right? So that they can work with us. So the application form softwares that we recommend are Wufu or Typeform. We personally use Wufu. Uh, again, very simple to use, has everything that you need, uh, very quick, uh, very user-friendly, and it's converted best for us over any other kind of form 
software. Let's say somebody completes your application form, hits submit on that application form, then what? Well, we probably want them to get to, we probably want them to book a call with you, right? So in order to do that, we need a call booking software. We can connect Wufu or Typeform to that software. And the two call booking softwares that we recommend are Calendly and Schedule Once. Now, Calendly, uh, I haven't used for a while, but it has a free version again. So the free version will do most of what you want it to do. We used to use Calendly, but then we moved over to Schedule Once because we wanted to have automated text reminders, pooled availability when we uh, grew our team uh, of people doing calls. Now, I know that Calendly has improved since we used it, so it may have some of those features now, um, but you just need to check them out again. Calendly does have a free version and I would probably recommend that to begin with. And then if you need more complexity, move to schedule once. So somebody's now become a lead, received an automated series of emails. They've filled in an application form. They've booked a call with you. You're going to do the call. Obviously the piece of software you need to do a call is a phone obviously, and then they wanna sign up as a client. So what do we do? We need to take payment. That's a really important part of your business. So what we recommend for taking payment is Stripe. That's your payment processor. That's uh, a piece of software that you can do payments on the phone, set up subscriptions, whatever it may be, right? So Stripe is our, is our preferred way of taking payment. Now, if you weren't gonna take payments on the phone and you're gonna drive traffic to a sales page, so let's say one of those pages built on Thrive themes, lead pages, or click funnels, and you didn't want to do a phone call. You just wanted people to buy there and then. Well, that means we need a checkout software. And the checkout softwares that we recommend are PayPal, Samcart, or Moonclerk. And these just connect to Stripe. People can check out on the page, it connects with Stripe, you can take payment online without having to do a phone call. And then a very important piece of software that you're gonna to have to choose once someone pays you is how you deliver your services, right? Are you gonna use an app or are you going to use something like Google Drive or Google Sheets to deliver your services? We've done a huge article on the most popular apps that our, our students use. We surveyed over 800 other online trainers and online coaches who we work with and asked them what their favorite app was for working with clients online. You can see that on your screen right now. You can see the uh, article on your screen right now. I will leave a link to that in the description, but in short, the most popular um, apps were Trainerize, MyPT Hub, Apotheo, TrueCoach, True Coach, and PT Distinction. Now, having said that, they are all apps that you can use to work with clients, and they're the five most voted for by our students. But having said that, the majority of our students still continue to use things like Google Sheets or Dropbox, um, uh, and PDFs and, and documents to work with their clients online. It's all dependent on what you find most uh, comfortable to work with, what you enjoy the experience of, and what your audience uh, is comfortable with as well. So there you have it. Here, there's all the software you need from taking uh, a member of your audience, let's say a follow on Instagram, to uh, a lead, to sending them automated emails, to getting them to apply to work with you, to book a call with you, to take payment, and then working with you. Obviously, check out that article. Again, I'll link that below this video, um, and you can check that out in terms of what our students think of each individual software. I hope that's been helpful. Don't forget to subscribe uh, to the channel for more information about how you can build a highly profitable online fitness business, sign up 10 to 20 high-paying online clients every single month. Bye for now.